happy weekend. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Um, it is currently Sunday here, uh, the 28th of February. We're stepping into March real quick here. Um, I find that February went by really fast. It seems to always do that. But anyways, um, here I'm just going to share with you guys a little bit about what we ate in a day, slash cook with me, slash food. <laughs> um, I guess you could call it any of the above. Um, mainly what we ate over the weekend maybe leading into the week um it'll mainly be video footage of dinners maybe a couple other little bonus clips here and there but i hope you enjoy and i hope you find some kind of inspiration in there and i'm just gonna hop in here all right it's saturday morning and i decided to treat everyone for breakfast so this morning's breakfast is gonna be coffee for me juice or milk whatever for the girls and donuts so here we have a chocolate dipped uh vanilla dip i think that's a blueberry fritter double chocolate uh honey cruller and old-fashioned plain so i just got a six pack but on the side i picked up a boston cream because i wasn't sure what was going to come in the six pack but that's going to be breakfast because mama's feeling real lazy and I've been craving donuts. All right, it doesn't look the prettiest, but this, my friends, is dinner. And we're going to have some meatball subs. I just pulled these sausage buns out of the freezer and... I'm going to put a few meatballs on each of these and then crisp them up in the oven with some mozzarella cheese and that's going to be supper and we're going to pair it with some macaroni salad and I'll show you guys that once we get there. When looking at these bananas, do you see what I see? All right, I'm just gonna get a jump on dinner tonight. So I pulled out this four pieces of chicken drumsticks and um, I'm going to put some of this sauce in it and let it like marinate along with some Worcestershire, I don't even know how to pronounce that properly, sauce and I'm just gonna let it kind of marinate all day. And then I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer and I'm hoping it turns out like a glaze type thing anyways and then I'm gonna like sprinkle some uh, sesame seeds on it and that's gonna be supper paired with some rice and I I've got some asparagus I want to use up so I'm gonna throw that in the air fryer as well or maybe I'll just put that on a baking sheet but either way that's gonna be dinner tonight guys it's Sunday um, so that's Sunday dinner and of course, I will show you guys what that looks like once it's all finished. Okay, so for future reference, this is mainly for me to go back on. And in case y'all are interested in it, I'm just going to document this in case it's really good and I need to make it again. So again, I'm going to go in here with some of this and I'm only going to use about, I don't know not even half a bottle and don't worry I won't waste it what I do with that is I'll put it in a sandwich baggie and then freeze what's left of it so I can make something with the remainder of it now I'm just gonna go in there with a couple dashes of this Worcestershire whatever it's called sauce and then I'm gonna like wish it around I guess or mush it around and that is it. Ta-da! I've been on this really big, like, no-waste kick. So, yeah. This will be frozen for later use. Actually, me again. <laughs> Upon further thought, uh, I'm probably not going to freeze this right away because I just thought that, like, my drumsticks aren't fully, fully thawed, so there's going to be some water of that out of that, and it's going to make the um 
marinade portion of it pretty watery. Not so much like a sauce, so I will probably end up using some of this, what's left, to brush on to the drums later. And then, again, whatever's left after that, which I suspect won't be too, too, too much, I can uh, freeze in a smaller portion and use at a later date, like I've been doing. Case in point, my freezer. Zero waste going on here. I mean, right down to the deli meat. <laughs> I've got blueberry muffins in here. Uh chicken pieces, some of that banana bread from last night turned out fantastic by the way, we're pretty well through the entire loaf I left out, so this might get eaten, eaten sooner than later, and it looks really dark, but like I substituted the white sugar completely for brown sugar, and I found it made a very moist and delicious bread. So, so the chicken has marinated for like the majority of the day. And now I've just got it here in this bread pan because it's only four, so I just needed a little pan. Anyways, I, um, you know, poured a little bit of the sauce on top of it and sprinkled some of these sesame seeds and I'm going to throw it in the oven at 375, 400 for about half hour, I guess. I, I'll just keep checking it because I don't remember the exact time to cook it for. It's been a while since I've made drumsticks and I was planning on putting them in the air fryer to be completely fair, but I decided I'm going to do my asparagus in there instead. So there you have it. We're going to have this along with some rice, leftover pad thai, and asparagus. Sort of a, a little bit of an Asian inspired meal. Minus the asparagus, because I don't think that's very Asian. But, eh. It's a green vegetable. Alright, here is what the asparagus looks like it from the air fryer. I actually lined my basket with foil to avoid some cleanup. Lazy mom hack. But anyways, all I did on here is tossed in oil, sprinkled some parmesan, and some um, everything bagel seasoning. And I cooked at 390 in the Ninja Foodie for, I believe it was 10 minutes. Here is that lovely chicken. Um, I just tossed this again in the air fryer in foil just to crisp it up. It looks amazing. And I'm serving that along, along with some of this white rice. Don't mind the stained um, spoon thingy and leftovers of this pad thai. I will show you guys our plates when it's all plated up and Rob is just going to eat the leftover meatball subs. All right, so it's now dessert. It's been a little while since dinner. And I offered the girls a mug cake and or ice cream. They both chose ice cream, but I'm feeling fat today. <laughs> well, I feel like indulging, and I'm going to have mug cake and a scoop of ice cream on top. And ta-da! Dessert. All right, for dinner, we're going to have this roast beef. So I've just, so far, I've just kind of put a bed of carrots down and sat my beef on it. I'm going to put um, some beef broth in there to cook it and uh, a little bit of garlic and then uh, I might top it with a stick of butter <laughs> and make like a butter beef. And that will be dinner. I'm just prepping it now. It's uh, Monday morning around 9 a.m. breakfast autumn is having one of those breakfast sandwiches I made the other day reheated in the air fryer a strawberry banana smoothie and I'm just having a coffee with some premier protein in it the caramel flavor of course 
Here I am just showing my plate. Um, I have a little bit of everything that I made for dinner. But anyways, guys, this concludes my what's for dinner video for the weekend and Monday. I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration or at least some ideas on what to make for your family this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Love you.